In the early 1950s, Jaguar was seeking every competitive advantage for endurance racing. The Jaguar D-Type, introduced in 1954 for Le Mans, embodied cutting-edge technologies. Not just aerodynamics and disc brakes, but also a radical new wheel design. Developed in partnership with Dunlop, this wheel abandoned the traditional Rudge Whitworth splined hub and wire spoke format in favour of a peg drive or pin drive system. The motivation was clear. Wire wheels with splined knockoff hubs had known weaknesses. Splines could wear or loosen under racing stress, and they required frequent maintenance, cleaning, tightening, and truing of spokes. Dunlop's peg drive concept was to use solid lightweight alloy wheels located and driven by a series of sturdy pins, pegs, on the hub with a central knockoff nut only to clamp the wheel in place. This innovation was aimed at improving durability, simplifying maintenance and coping with the higher loads and heat of disc brakes and new tyres in competition. Importantly, Dunlop had also developed disc brakes for Jaguar's racing programme and these needed wheels that could accommodate large brake rotors and dissipate heat. The D-Type's Dunlop wheels were designed to cover 12.75-inch disc rotors, something wire wheels struggled with. Dunlop also introduced stabler radial racing tyres for the D-Type, a low-profile tyre that put greater cornering loads on wheels than the older cross-ply tyres. The peg-drive aluminium wheels were stronger and stiffer than wires, making them well-suited to these new radials. In summary, Dunlop developed the peg drive system to solve the limitations of splined hubs and wire spokes, providing Jaguar with a modern wheel that was lighter, stronger, and virtually maintenance free under gruelling 24 hour race conditions. Technical design and engineering features The Dunlop peg drive wheel used on the D type was a three piece light alloy wheel with a centre lock design. In its original specification, it measured 16 inches in diameter by 5 inches wide. The construction was innovative for the time. The rim was made from extruded aluminium, rolled and welded into shape, while the centre section was a stamped, pressed aluminium web. These two parts were then riveted together. The third component was a hardened steel centre plate, which sat at the hub of the wheel to interface with the knockoff spinner and the drive pegs. This steel insert was crucial because it provided a tough bearing surface for the pegs and nut, preventing the softer aluminium from wearing out under the forces of acceleration and braking. Five drive pegs on each hub, mated with corresponding holes in the wheel's steel centre plate. When the wheel was installed, these pegs positively locked it to the hub, carrying all the driving and braking torque. Unlike a splined hub, which transmits torque via many small teeth, the peg drive uses a few large pins that are highly resistant to wear or damage. The wheel was secured by a single large knockoff spinner nut, a three-eared winged nut made of tough aluminium bronze alloy that threaded onto the hub's centre peg to clamp the wheel flush against the hub face. The spinner did not need to transmit torque, its job was only to hold the wheel tight. In fact, the centre hub of the D-type peg drive system was very short and not splined at all. It did not serve to locate the wheel like in the Rudge system. Instead, the wheel was centred and aligned by the pegs themselves, which had tapered noses to self-centre in the wheel's holes. This design meant the wheel is effectively lug-centric, like a modern car's lug-nut wheel, with the flat hub face ensuring the wheel sits true in plane. The knockoff nut had a conical seating, but in this system that cone only provided self-tightening action. It did not locate the wheel. The result was a very secure mounting with minimal play and quick wheel changes since mechanics simply slid the wheel onto the pegs and tightened the spinner. Another notable feature was the wheel's brake cooling vent. The one-piece aluminium rim had a series of circular holes drilled around its periphery to allow air circulation over the brakes. Early D-type wheels used a pattern of 12 large and 12 small holes alternating around the rim, while later production switched to a pattern of 15 large plus 15 small holes for even better ventilation. Other variants for different cars later used different hole shapes or counts as discussed below. These holes also incidentally reduced weight. 
the overall design successfully balanced weight and strength. Contemporary reports praise these Dunlop wheels as ultra lightweight for their size. They were made of high quality aluminium alloy, often referred to as Electron, a magnesium infused alloy in period parlance, that kept unsprung mass low while retaining durability. The Dunlop peg drive wheels thus exemplified advanced engineering of the 1950s, combining aerospace materials and novel mechanics to improve race car performance. Development and Production History Dunlop's development of the peg drive wheel coincided with Jaguar's racing program advancements in the mid-1950s. After the Jaguar C-Type had pioneered Dunlop's disc brakes to win Le Mans in 1953, attention turned to wheels. The first peg drive alloy wheels were developed in 1954 for the new D-Type. Jaguar worked exclusively with Dunlop on this project, meaning the wheels carried Dunlop branding and were supplied directly to the factory team and later customer D-Types. During 1954 to 1957, Dunlop produced these wheels for all D-Types, approximately 67 to 75 cars in total, including team and customer cars, and for a handful of related models. The identical wheels were fitted on the 1957 Jaguar XKSS, which was the street-going version of the D-Type. Dunlop's production was relatively small-scale and specialised. These wheels were hand-assembled multi-piece units, reflecting their race-oriented nature. Beyond Jaguar's own cars, Dunlop made the peg-drive wheel available to other British competition efforts, and it quickly found adoption in the mid to late 1950s. For instance, the Connaught B-Type Grand Prix car, a Formula One racer, was equipped with Dunlop peg drive alloy wheels using the 12-hole ventilation pattern. Likewise, the Lister Jaguar Nobly sports racers of 1957 to 58 used the same Dunlop 16-inch light alloy wheels to handle the power of Jaguar engines on the track. Even outside circuit racing, these wheels proved advantageous. Donald Healy's Bonneville record cars, streamlined Austin Healy 100 variants attempting land speed records in the mid-50s, were fitted with Dunlop peg drive wheels for their strength and high speed stability. Dunlop also produced a steel peg drive wheel for road going sports cars. The 1958-60 MGA Twin Cam and Deluxe models had centre lock steel wheels with four drive pegs which were essentially a road-friendly adaptation of the same concept. This shows that by the late 1950s, the peg-drive idea had filtered into limited production for customers who wanted the advantages of alloy racing wheels without the complications of wire spokes. In the early 1960s, Jaguar briefly revisited the Dunlop alloy wheel for special projects. The 1960 Jaguar E2A prototype a one-off Le Mans car bridging the D-Type and E-Type, ran on peg-drive Dunlop wheels. Jaguar's 1963 lightweight E-Type competition cars were also equipped with Dunlop peg-drive wheels, though in a new 15-inch size and with a slightly different hole design, 10 squarish ventilation holes instead of round. The famous 1962 Jaguar low-drag coupe, an experimental aerodynamic E-Type, Similarly used Dunlop mag wheels with unique cooling hole shapes. By the mid-1960s, however, Jagger and other manufacturers began to adopt newer wheel designs or suppliers, e.g. Hallibrand wheels on Ford GT40s, Campagnolo on Italian cars, and Dunlop phased out production of the original style. The peg drive concept itself, though, had taken root firmly. It became a standard approach for racing center lock wheels going forward, even if other companies built them. Original Dunlop peg drive wheels remain rare and coveted. For example, spare D type wheels occasionally surface at auction as valuable collector's items, e.g., a genuine D type Dunlop wheel with tyre was once auctioned as a memorabilia piece. Advantages over traditional knockoff hubs and wires. Dunlop's peg drive wheels offered several key advantages compared to the traditional splined hubs and wire wheels of earlier sports cars. Higher strength and durability, the solid alloy rim and hub interface could withstand greater stress than wire spokes. There were no splines to strip and no spokes to loosen or break.
which improved reliability in endurance races. Lighter unsprung weight, using aluminium-magnesium alloy construction and eliminating heavy splined hubs, allowed significant weight savings. The D-Type's wheels were notably lightweight for a 16-inch wheel, improving suspension response and acceleration. Improved brake cooling. Large ventilation holes in the wheel aided airflow to the new disc brakes, helping dissipate heat. This was critical in races like Le Mans, where brake fade was a major issue for competitors on drums. Low maintenance, unlike wire wheels that required regular tightening and truing, the peg drive alloys were virtually maintenance free. They did not need routine adjustment. Cleaning and inspection were simpler without intricate spokes. Positive engagement and quick changes. The peg system positively located the wheel on the hub, ensuring perfect centering and torque transfer via the stout pegs. This made wheel installation foolproof, a crucial benefit during fast pit stops. The single knockoff nut was retained for quick single wrench fastening, but since it only clamps the wheel, it could be spun on or off rapidly without concern for aligning splines. In short, the peg drive wheels gave Jaguar a technical edge. As one period analysis quipped, the switch from the Rudge splined system to Dunlop's peg drive was driven by the inherent weakness of the splines, which Dunlop's solution effectively eliminated. The payoff was a wheel that complemented the D-Type's disc brakes and high-speed capabilities, contributing to the car's overall competitiveness. Motorsport success and wider adoption. The Dunlop peg drive wheels proved their merit on the world stage through the Jaguar D Type's racing triumphs. The D Type won the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1955, 1956, and 1957, beating out larger engined rivals in part due to its superior braking and endurance capabilities. Areas enhanced by Dunlop's wheels and tyres. The lightweight wheels helped reduce pit stop times and mechanical fatigue, while the disc brakes, kept cool by those vented wheels, allowed Jaguar drivers to brake later and harder without fade. In the D-Type's first Le Mans outing, 1954, the car set speed records and proved the concept, although brake teething issues prevented a win. By 1955, however, the D-Types ran reliably and capitalised on Dunlop's technology to secure victory. Their dominance culminated in a 1-2-3-4-6 sweep at Le Mans, 1957. A testament to the whole package, engine, aerodynamics, brakes, tyres and wheels. Beyond Jaguar's own team, other racing cars using Dunlop peg drive wheels also found success. The British Connaught team achieved a landmark victory in 1955, the Syracuse Grand Prix, with their Connaught B-Type Formula One car. It was one of the first Grand Prix wins for a British car in the post-war era, and the car was equipped with Dunlop alloy peg drive wheels, with the 12-hole pattern, that withstood the rigours of F1 competition. In sports car racing, Lister Jaguars fitted with these wheels won numerous national-level races and challenged factory teams. The Lister Nobly earned a fearsome reputation in 1958, often beating factory D-types in sprint events. On the Salt Flats, Donald Healy's record-breaking streamliners, which were essentially modified Austin Healy's, set speed records running on Dunlop's peg-drive wheels. Their strength was crucial at speeds topping 200 miles per hour. Even some production-based rally cars took advantage. The MGA Twin Cam, while not enjoying a long racing career, saw use in rallies and endurance events where its Dunlop steel peg drive wheels offered reliability on rough stages. The peg drive concept did not stop with Dunlop's own wheels. By the 1960s, it became the standard approach for racing centre lock wheels globally. Notably, the Ford GT40s that won Le Mans in 1966-1969 employed centre-lock magnesium wheels with pin-drive pegs, made by Halibrand in the USA. The same principle pioneered by Dunlop on the D-Type was now helping another mark dethrone Ferrari at Le Mans. Likewise, Lotus adopted peg-drive knockoff hubs on models like the Lotus Elan, 
for which peg-drive alloy wheels were optional. The concept proved itself in countless other race machines as the preferred solution for quick-change, high-strength wheels. In essence, Dunlop's development set a trend that swept through motorsport, from sports cars to Grand Prix, and even into some road-going sports cars. Legacy and historic influence, the legacy of the Dunlop peg-drive wheel is evident in both technology and nostalgia. Technically, the idea of using drive pegs with a single locking nut became a mainstay in racing. Today's endurance race cars and many single-seaters use centre-lock wheels secured by one nut, almost always with drive pins to handle the torque. A direct descendant of the system Dunlop refined in the 1950s. Modern centre-lock road cars, from the Porsche 911 GT3 to hypercars, also quietly employ peg or key interfaces to ensure the wheel and hub engage positively even if splined centre locks have also been reintroduced in some cases. The influence can also be seen in wheel design. The multi-piece construction and ventilated rims of the D-Type's wheels foreshadowed the high-performance racing wheels to come. Enthusiasts and restorers continue to celebrate the Dunlop peg-drive wheels as an iconic piece of racing history. Historic racing D-Types, XKSS Roadsters, Listers and lightweight E-Types all run on either restored original Dunlop wheels or faithful reproductions, preserving the look and function of the 1950s design. The wheel's distinctive drilled hole pattern and three-eared knockoff nut are instantly recognisable at vintage racing events. In fact, Jaguar's own continuation programmes have kept this legacy alive. When Jaguar Classic built a run of D-type continuation cars in 2018, to the original Le Mans specifications, they equipped them with period-correct Dunlop peg-drive alloy wheels and tyres. The same was done for Jaguar's continuation XKSS and lightweight E-type models, proving that even in the 21st century, the original design still meets the performance and safety requirements for track use. Owners of classic Jaguar sports cars sometimes fit modern reproduction Dunlop-style wheels to their cars, for example, installing D-type wheels on an XK140 or E-type to capture that competition pedigree. Today, there is a small cottage industry of specialists reproducing Dunlop peg-drive wheels. Companies in the UK offer authentic multi-piece replicas built just like the originals, as well as one-piece cast aluminium versions that mimic the style with greater convenience. These come in various sizes, 16-inch as original, but also 15-inch to fit later cars or wider widths to accommodate modern tyres. While original 1950s, magnesium alloys, are prone to corrosion and age, new magnesium or aluminium reproductions ensure that the Dunlop wheel design can continue to be used safely on roads and tracks. Such is the design's enduring appeal that even classic MG and Austin Healey owners seek them out, as noted by one publication, Various MGA and Healy models over the years have been fitted with similar Dunlop wheels, underlining the wheel's cross-mark legacy. In summary, the Dunlop peg-drive wheel as used on the Jaguar D-Type left an indelible mark on automotive engineering. Its introduction was a turning point in wheel design, moving the industry beyond the wire-spoke era into the age of lightweight alloy racing wheels. The wheel's success in the 1950s from multiple Le Mans victories to Grand Prix and speed record exploits, cemented its reputation. Its design principles influenced generations of competition wheels, and its legend lives on through modern reproductions and the active vintage racing scene. Over 60 years later, the Dunlop peg-drive wheel remains a symbol of mid-century innovation and a sought-after piece of kit for those who appreciate the blend of form and function in motorsport engineering. This has been a production by Curious Jag. Please like and subscribe.